as always, these videos are sponsored by Freely Give. Freely Give pays my salary and I can do a lot to the AI community for this. Um, we have Drupal and AI experts, not just me, but other people. So if you need help, please get in contact with us. So another video about the Drupal AI module and what it can do uh, and help you with. Um, before I start going into what I want to showcase, I just wanted to say, because I didn't mention it yesterday, this is still very much in alpha. Hopefully the actual API that you as a developer work with should not change much. So the internals might change, but not that. Um, what I'm going to showcase today is a very, uh, like a hello world example of the uh, of AI. Uh, so what we're going to use is the Drupal AI module. We're going to use something called the AI uh, API Explorer that comes with the AI module and we're gonna use Ulama and Ulama then is a wrapper service that starts a service um, for LLMs that you can host locally which means that you're not gonna need a, a third-party service or something like that you're not gonna need to pay for this and I'm gonna run a model called Gemma that runs on any computer that has 16 gigabytes of RAM so I will just showcase this first now I am running this on Linux so how this setup works on Windows and Mac might differ especially on Windows uh, but the general idea with the command for LAM and so on is the same so you will see I have 16 gigabyte of RAM if I run SM NVIDIA SMI I don't have a graphic card in this case so we're just gonna start by downloading Ulama so this is different Mac OS Windows it's just executables that you install for uh, Linux we have to do this um, and while that's downloading I'm gonna talk about what we're gonna solve today so we had this article that we created an image for yesterday that's about food uh, hoarding and I, now I just want to create a summary around this. So I have already created uh, my article, manage fields. I have created a summary field, right? Uh, here I just have some pseudocode that I've written. So if on pre-save of the node, if the node type is article, then the field summary should be filled with some AI summary, right? That's what we're trying to solve. <coughs> uh, so to be able to do that, we can start installing the modules already. What we need is the AI core module. So that is installed already. We're going to need the AI API Explorer uh, to basically test out the API. And we're going to need the provider as well. That is Olama. So we install those three things. So now we have Olama here. It's going to start as a service, I guess. So I have to stop this. This is a typical uh, well it's not even typical Linux it's typical system D that doesn't exist on all the Linux systems so I'm gonna show you the pure command here instead so you can do Olama serve so now I stopped the service um, but you can do Olama serve and this would start the service the problem now then is that I'm running ddev and ddev runs in docker and docker uh, is basically running its own virtual network and this only listens to localhost which is problematic because in this case my ddev machine is not localhost so it will not be allowed to con uh, con uh, connect to this so I have to do this llama host equals 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, meaning that it listens to the world uh, and after that I have to download the model that we want and in our case we want Gemma because Gemma is something that we can run on, on. 16 gigabytes of RAM and that you can usually see in the, the parameter size. So you see this is 2 billion parameters, very, very small. It's not very, very uh, smart, of course, but hopefully enough for a summary or kind of a summary. So I will just write Olama pull gamma to be. So it's pulling in the model. This is not built into the web interface in Drupal yet. It's hopefully going to be in the future. Uh, I already installed this, so it's already there. So now I have done everything I need to do on uh, online because I got everything I need so I'm just gonna showcase something I will just turn off the actual um, Wi-Fi here so if I try to reload this page it doesn't work I don't have internet anymore right um, so now I just need to set this up this is configuration AI settings provider settings for every provider that you're gonna use uh, port is 11434, that's the default port. You can open on any using this uh, uh, command I showed you. 
And then you have to use this if you're inside a Docker container when you want to talk to your actual physical machine. So that's host.docker.internal. And this connects to your physical machine. So the actual host of Docker. And after we set this up, there is then under AI settings, AI API explorers. And these are explorers where you can try making calls to the different providers that you have set up uh, doing different operation types. So with Olama, we can do embeddings and chat generation. That's what it supports currently. So we're going to use the chat generation explorer, choose our provider, choose our model. Can use some settings here if you want, but we we'll keep it as it is. Because it's Gemma, it doesn't take a system actually. It would throw an error in this case. And then I can just ask here, who are you? I'm the user and I'm asking, who are you? And this, if we go back here, you will see it's gonna log <coughs> that a call was sent here. Yeah. And then it's answering as it has a large language machine developed by Google, blah, blah, blah. And this happens without internet now, right? So I'm just running this on my machine. But what's cool here now, this is the call I want to make, right? I can just go to normalist code example and copy this. And this is the code I need to create the exact same call. Uh, and what I can do then, the uh, or let's go through this first. So uh, it first sets up the config. This is default values. We could actually not do that, but I, I keep it there. Then it normalizes the input. So you could also have unnormalized example here where it's less code because you can actually, you know, just put it in directly. But the good thing with doing normalized then as I talked about in the last episode is that you can do switch over to OpenAI, for instance, if you want that in the future when you think that, okay, Gemma is not good enough. Um, and okay, these are using full namespaces. You should usually put those up into use there, right? I'm just gonna fix that, but that's how it has to be in this example code, of course. Uh, so it's creating a normalized input. In this case, of course, we have to do this. Uh, summarize this article in one sentence. Just answer with the summary. And then we're going to do uh, strip tags because it might not take HTML. Some models doesn't like that. Um, we're probably going to have helper functions for this later, depending on model, what you can and can't have, because that's different for different mod models. So anyway, we're creating the instance of Llama, we're setting the configuration, and then we're just doing the call to Gemma to be. In this case, we don't need to tag it. If you're going to make a contributor module, please tag stuff, because that means that uh, anyone listening to events, so they want to do something before the request is sent or after the request is done, can search for a specific tag or in the logs you can filter on these tags, right? The tags for module that's being used, uh, provider and and operation type is set automatically. Then we get a normalized response and the normalized response in this case then is, um, is a, a chat message. So we can just open that. There should be a, a helper message here. If you use the var, it would autocomplete because I'm using the Drupal big Drupal static uh, object here. It doesn't actually autocomplete unless I'm telling it what it is. I'm getting in this case. Um, so uh, the response is under response get message then, right? So we just do this function and we're gonna put this into the field summary and that's it. Now we go to our content. I will just show you so you see there is no summary. I'll press save. Oh, that was a little bit too fast. What did I do wrong now? Oh, maybe this module is not installed. Uh, yeah, AI summary local. So I'm I am having this test module. It it's good to install it if I'm gonna run my code. I didn't think of that. Uh, so we're just gonna edit and save it and hopefully it takes, yeah, now it starts thinking. And then hopefully, Gemma is not the smartest model, so sometimes it answers like, sure, here's a summary. 
and then the summary which is of course not what you want there that's why I asked it specifically just answer with the summary but it's not the smartest model and this is what you can get without having a graphic card or a third party summary so yeah unfortunately it didn't understand that but still you see it actually created something and this is actually something that you then can have on your servers uh, that you don't need a very expensive GPU or a third party service for and it doesn't need to leave internet uh, or go out on public internet so you can keep your data safe um, and that's it thank you for watching